Ooh, these are hearts. Ooh. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Priya and I do a lot of lifestyle, food and drink, and creative content. Today is obviously going to be that fruit and drink category, talking about my coffee setup, um, just how I get my coffee fix in for the day, a little bit about my background as a barista, and just even like what I do um, now that I have like my full setup in place. Um, it's been a couple years in the works to get it like as nice as it is, so I'll walk you through that in just a moment. Um, but for the rest of the video, I'm gonna be just, you know, kind of walking through that. I'm gonna do a little mini Q&A talking about some of my experience, um, just a little bit about the channel so you get a little bit of the lowdown. And um, yeah, so excited to have you guys and continue watching. I'll see you in a bit. All right, so here's a little mini rundown of the coffee station itself. On the left, we have a matcha station. In the middle, we have my Breville. And on the right, a pour over situation. So that kettle, that nice little grinder. Um, honestly, I generally do an ice latte most times. So, you know, something like this machine is really great. Um, one, it has a touch screen, so you can kind of choose between different types of drinks you're making. Um, generally, I just pull an espresso, if anything, but um, cappuccinos are really close second. Uh, you can do either a single or a double pull. I usually do a double and like split it with my dad for the actual, like kind of grinding and tamping that happens of the espresso. You basically just put the portafilter basket into that area that I'm wonderfully showing you. And, uh, you just literally turn it to the right and it let it kind of go back. Um, It'll automatically grind it, uh, automatically do all the tamping. So really it's just a kind of plug and go. You can control the grind setting, which is really nice. Um, I think, you know, that's just gonna really depend on your preference. I generally am pulling a single ristretto or a double ristretto. So it's not really going to be um, going to require a ton of coffee just because it's gonna be kind of like a tight, strong yield. Uh, so you can see, you know, this one's a little watery. This was the first time I ever pulled one. So it's not really perfect, but the flavor was there, which was awesome. So I think overall, even if you don't have any experience or background, this was such a great way to get into like a really good machine that really does everything for you. Now, the actual milk itself. This one was probably one of my favorite features. Generally, I think on a lot of machines, there is some kind of manual process to this, but this one is so beautiful in the sense that you literally just fill in your pitcher, stick the wand in and put down the tray. And if you saw earlier, there's a little temperature gauge so you can control the temperature, you can control how much froth you want. Um, and you're not worried about it kind of like going over either, which is amazing. Uh, the wand cleans itself when you put it down it kind of like spews out steam to help clean it but otherwise you can just use some hot water on a towel to clean the outside of the wand for any milk residue and um, I'm going to just do the latte art in a second but you're going to see how great that milk froth texture is overall it's super smooth and silky there aren't like huge bubbles in there or anything um and it's really going to depend also on which feature you select right cappuccinos have a little bit less froth and whatnot but overall really easy to work with love the machine and does a really great job for my daily coffee Hi everyone, this is a little mini Q&A portion. Hope you enjoyed kind of seeing some of my coffee setup and just a little bit about that. Um, obviously very fun for me. Um, right now I work as a financial analyst, but I was a barista for a little bit at Blue Bottle, so that was really fun. And kind of what really took my coffee enthusiasm a little bit further, which is, which is great, I think. Um, but outside of, you know, what I've done for work, a lot of what I do now is creatively based. And I guess you can kind of see that, you know, given that I'm on YouTube and um, this is kind of a creative platform, right? Um, but, you know, outside of kind of like digital content, like, you know, YouTube, I mostly do kind of like fiber work. So crocheting. Um, and then some needlework, which is kind of like cross-stitching, embroidery, those kind of things. 
Um, I'm definitely, you know, still developing my skills, but it's something I do really enjoy. So I'm really looking forward to sharing some of my creative projects. Um, there's a lot of different things I want to get back into, like my painting, my drawing, um, exploring digital content, you know, there's just a whole world out there creatively. So that's always exciting. Um, like I said, this channel is going to be like food and drink, lifestyle, creativity. Um, so I kind of touched on that creativity piece a little bit. Um, but in terms of like food and drink, you guys saw a little bit of that like coffee content. And, um, you know, I personally really enjoy cooking. I like trying new recipes. Um, I like trying new drink recipes as well. Um, and even just like making things from scratch is always really fun. So I'm hoping to share some of that content with you guys as well. Um, some of the restaurants that I go to are foods I really enjoy when I eat out. And then in terms of lifestyle, this one's like such a broad brush that it's kind of hard to say how exactly that'll play out on my channel just because I feel like everybody has like a unique lifestyle and you can always put like, you know, quote unquote labels on it. But um, I think when it comes to like my lifestyle philosophy, it's basically like, you know, is it sustainable? Is it something that's actively helping me? And um, is it getting me to the goals that I want to reach, right? So it's kind of my principles. Um, and the greatest thing is like, it can apply to almost anywhere. So when I think about lifestyle, I do obviously think about, you know, like how I take care of myself, like physically, but it's also mentally and spiritually. Um, I, you know, do like to, I don't know, like connect with my body, making sure I'm like taking care of myself and, um, you know, kind of engaging in practices that are, you know, healthy and positive uh, for the most part, right? And so yeah, so that's a little bit about the lifestyle. Um, I think kind of jumping into YouTube, it's, I've kind of done it a little bit in the past. I've occasionally like put out a video and then like not touched it and then put it out again and then not touched it and then taken it down and you know, all that good stuff. Um, I've mostly done uh, like shorter content. So like TikTok and Reels or like, I literally just like post pictures and stuff. Um, I've never really done like a 10, 15 minute like dedicated piece where I'm like, okay, let me like fully edit this and like make this creative and have like topics and stuff. Um, I think the closest that I've gotten with that is probably like my podcast, but even then it's just like talking into a mic and not really like a camera and I don't really have to like film anything other than that uh, recording that I do. So this is like a really great way for me to jump into like a new creative medium to like really explore and kind of expand how I think about digital content. I think it's something I wanted to explore, but I didn't really know how. And so I'm just kind of going, you know, feed in first, seeing how it works out um, and kind of going from there, right? Um, I don't really have any immediate goals with this, which is kind of nice. I think I can just kind of leave it as is. It's just kind of its own creative thing. Um, obviously I do want to create like a community of like-minded people. I do want to hit, you know, like a thousand subscribers at some point and like grow from there. I would like this channel to become, you know, something really fun that I can be proud of. Um, however that may be and what that looks like for me, right? Whether it's, you know, me exploring different editing styles or filming styles or different content. Um, or forcing myself to kind of show up a little bit differently or more authentically than maybe I have in the past. Um, I think kind of being out on the internet is, you know, always a always an interesting experience and everybody has their own kind of view of it. Um, so this is kind of mine. This is, you know, a way to explore that. Um, but nonetheless, I think this is going to be a really great endeavor. Um, I guess a little bit more about me because I've talked about my channel, I've talked about my content and um, you know, I've talked about what I did for work and all my creative stuff and whatnot. Um, but I think, you know, when I talk, when I want to talk about me, I think I want to say a lot about, um, you know, I think I've had like a pretty interesting journey to get to this point. Uh, you know, not just like creatively and, and professionally and whatever, but I think in kind of the headspace that I've needed to be in to be able to kind of come on this platform as confidently as I am, to be able to come as authentically 
and even just be able to kind of like own the things that I do, right? I think I used to be really shy, really introverted, and I just didn't want anybody involved in any of the work that I did, right? Whether that was sharing it, whether them knowing about it, it was like my own private little world and I didn't want anybody to be a part of that. Um, part of that was just like fear-based and whatnot, but um, I'm really trying to like let myself out of my shell and like show up how I want to show up. So this is really interesting. Um, I'm kind of, you know, rolling with the punches, taking mistakes and taking it all as like a learning opportunity. I don't think there's a perfect way to do any of this. Obviously, you know, I have my vision for what I want things to look like and how I want to show up. But I also recognize that it takes time, right? Like I can't just build a whole personality or brand about myself in one 10 minute video, right? It's gonna take a consistent effort of showing up and uh, showing up authentically for that to happen. So I'm really excited to be here. Um, I will be posting every Sunday in the afternoon around noon. So definitely come back again next Sunday to catch some more content. I'm really excited to be sharing stuff with you guys. I have some trips coming up. I'm hoping to share some of my recipes with you guys. Um, and just even like random projects, things like that. Um, but definitely let me know if you wanna see anything in particular, right? I think that's kind of like the beauty of this whole thing is like you can suggest stuff too that you'd like to see from me. Um, but yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I have a ton of other socials that you can follow me on, Instagram, TikTok. Um, threads, I guess. I don't really use it though, so, you know, once in a blue moon when I post, um, you know, feel free to follow me on there too if you like. Um, but anyway, everything is linked down below, or you can go to my about page and I should have all the links there as well. Um, if you'd like to listen to my podcast, and I may briefly mention that, that's also going to be linked down below. You can find it on pretty much any major platform. If you want to listen to my podcast, it's also linked below. Um, it's available on any major platform. Um, it's called Love Your Damn Self. If you're looking for, it, if you're looking it up, um, and yeah, I think that's it. Um, exciting first episode. I really hope to get some interesting feedback from you guys as I keep putting out content, and that you follow along. All right, bye. See you next Sunday.